Got an iPhone 7? Well in this video we're going to take a look at the official review of iOS 11, the software that was just released on September the 19th. That's coming up right now. Let's. So what is up guys? Nick here helping you to master your technology and welcome to the iPhone 7 iOS 11 official review. Now I did download my iOS 11 for the iPhone 7 through iTunes which was about 2.45 gigabytes. You can see iOS 11 15a 372 and no a signifying this is the official version here so right away when you get into the lock screen you're going to notice it's very similar the way it functions but the clock is a little bit smaller and the passcode numbers are a little bit different here getting into the actual software itself though it shows a very similar experience as well until you pull up the control center and here is where you see major differences you now have the ability to long press into them 3d touch style it gives you a little vibration if you do have this iphone 7 and these are very smooth and they look a little bit more modern up to date with 2017 and one of the coolest features in ios 11 for your iphone 7 is going to be the screen recording but the control center is one of the standout features here and you can also customize this which we'll talk a little bit about later now pulling down a notification tray you can see definitely a difference there as well it's more clear and translucent than ever before and the notifications interact very differently you swipe to the left to open and swipe to the right to view and clear and you could swipe all the way over to just clear them completely out now at the dock you're going to notice that you don't have letters below your icons anymore it's just clear and that's kind of nice if you ask me Heading over into settings, you're going to notice that you do have new wallpapers here in the stills. Very similar to what I showed in my iPhone SE video, exactly the same to be honest with you here. And you even have the globe wallpaper which came on the original iPhone 10 years ago. And that's why I think Apple included that in here. You do lose your fish live wallpaper though, so if you like that, they're no longer here. Like I said earlier, you can go into control center in settings and now add whatever you would like into the control center, which is nice for those people who have not been using Android for a long time you now have that feature here do not disturb also brings do not disturb while driving hopefully making your driving experience while using your phone a little bit safer i don't recommend you do it but if you do turn on this do not disturb mode accessibility brings some new enhancements too but one of the standout enhancements is the type to siri function which i'm going to enable right here and you can see if you hold down siri you can now type to siri similar to what you could do in google's assistant now siri it does also have a different visual look here you can see it just looks a little bit different and also it gets a sound enhancement where she sounds a little bit more natural when you do talk to her in the Siri application. So calculator also looks a little bit different, actually a lot different. It looks a little bit more in sync with the passcode on the lock screen. Files is one of the newest apps here for your iPhone 7 and it allows you to sync files between iPads, Macs, iPhones, and iPod 6 is the last iPod that's going to get this software update, but I don't recommend you download it there. But Files is going to be really great for those people who want to keep everything in sync on their iPhone. And here's some new icons that we see changed here. The Maps icon is a little bit different, the Notes icon is a little bit different, and Reminders. Also, the camera icon is slightly different as well, but speaking of camera, let's go ahead and get into camera here and see what's new. So you now have the ability to change filters. These are new filters here. And you also have live photo editing where you can trim live photos and there's some memories enhancements as well. So if you like live photos, you're gonna love iOS 11 here. AR comes to the iPhone 7 and it runs fantastic. As you can see right here, I'm showing a demo here. If you wanna check this out, download the AR Explorer app if you wanna check this out for yourself. It works great. In Maps, you now have maps to go ahead and download in shopping malls as well as in airports. So it's gonna be nice for those travelers who don't know, you know, how to get around, you know, the airports in different cities as well as malls in different cities. So that's gonna be cool for them. Now, music also gets a few updates where you can share music and playlists with friends and you can find, you know, what your friends are listening to and stuff like that. So music's a lot more social now in the Apple Music application. But you might be asking yourself, what about that new app store? And that app store gives you a huge change here. Big cards, it's very easy to read this. It's very well laid out, much better than what we've seen in prior versions on our iPhone 7. You can see you have this day view, the tabs view, the update view, and even in search, it's a lot easier to search things here in iOS 11. Now, on the calendar, you do see bold type font faces, which is actually a similar consistency across iOS 11. A lot of bold action going on, so people who haven't liked bold fonts in the past are not gonna like what Apple did here with iOS 11. But Apple Messages also gets stickers, but they were supposed to bring Apple Pay to Pay, where you could pay people 
who have iMessage on other devices right from the app, but they didn't do so here in this update. So we're gonna have to keep this covered, maybe 11.01 .01 or 11.1. .1. Also, Safari sees a bigger search bar where you put the URL. It's a little bit clearer, a little bit easier to read. But in yourself, well, how is the performance on the iPhone 7, iOS 11? Here's where an area I think that the iPhone 7 is actually doing quite well, and that is in performance department. Notifications seem to run okay. It looks like the UI is running great. The applications, stock applications run fantastic. The animations seem a little bit slow delayed in comparison to like iOS 10. So I think the animations, while they look better, like the way it actually flies out, 3D Touch also shows still lag here on the official version. So 3D Touch is a little bit slower. The animations are a little bit delayed in comparison to iOS 10. 3.3 but i think over time this is going to get better so i still think it's worth updating because the iphone 7 has a lot of good features here in ios 11 and overall it's definitely daily driver material so if you guys found this video helpful enjoyable do me a favor click the like button for me down below battery life is not horrible here on the iphone 7 it seems about the same as 3.3 nick here helping you to master your technology be sure to do well i will catch you all in the next one consider subscribing if you are new and paid